Don't get a fake heed when you go to Oktoberfest. I don't know why I said it that way. Hey, it's Brain Muffin back with another beer review and a shirt that doesn't fit. And here we have from Fat Heads Brewery, which I want to say, for some reason I thought it was somewhere around Columbus. Yeah, I got a middle, Middleburg Heights. I meant to look that up the other day when I did a different Fat Heads review, and I forgot. <laughs> so anyway, Fat Heads Brewery, because um, I, I seem to remember them quite a bit at Cincinnati Bear Fest many years ago when I used to uh, do photography for them. Man, that's probably been 10 years. Has it been that long? I haven't been to one in a long time. I um, started going to the Jungle Gyms one again uh, with my brother years ago, and it's something I need to do again. I, I really need to figure out how to get up there. But this is uh, the Oktoberfest Bavarian Style Fest beer. Now that should be, now I've reviewed a couple of Oktoberfests and it, we're kind of technically out of Oktoberfest season just slightly, but we're still in October. Now I have no idea when this review is gonna get edited and go up because I some weeks I do great and other weeks I don't. I did not make 420 today. <laughs> Um, but, uh, they're good anyway. And so it, it does have some German in here. Uh, we have Eins, Zwei, Drei, Gezofa, which is what I remember. Well, Fiele Menschke, Hinden and Aus. And this is an Eichbaum. I don't think you can read the, and this is another beer. And man, oh man, braucht something. B-R-A-U-T, D. Something beer, beer. Urigsten braucht die Urigsten beer. I think I, I'm not positive. And I, I only we got this in Germany. I think when we visited my parents in the '90s, but I'm not positive on that. It was one of those uh, I can't remember where I got it. So who cares? Let's get to the beer. Who cares about your blood man? But oh, and it's um, hit me right in the cheek. <laughs> so, ooh, that's ooh. It's a. It's not the orange variety. It's the pale variety, similar to the polliner. That's interesting. Now this is a, uh, a delivery from my brother when he visited. Uh, he went to Jungle Gyms and um, hopefully it made the trip. There's a. It's like a slight skunkiness. I don't know if it's the top of the can. I did wash it. I mean, it's the, I don't know. Man, look at that. Look at that. And that's the thing about these um, beers. I, I know I'm holding it off camera there. Whoops, I didn't mean to get that. Um, great. May have got some dust in it. Because normally I think of Oktoberfest beers. I think of kind of an orangey uh, color. But the polliner told me, no, maybe not. But it had that same flavor. So, Now the phone's good. It tastes fine. I don't know what that that smell is. That's kind of weird. And it's just, yeah, it does show up. There's something right here, <laughs> which, oh, that's what you can just barely see. So if I move it like that, okay. So this, whoop, this is uh, my wife's decoration for the fall. And we'll move it off camera. All of these acorns she collected from the mountain. But that is good. That is, despite the weird aroma on the can, that is quite good. I had it around the right way, didn't I? So one nice thing about having the, I can see the camera, what it's saying. That is really light, too. Um, Jungle Dim's price, $2.69. I'm looking for... Alcohol content, malt, oh, Matt, Chris, and Glenn. 5% alcohol, 25 IBUs. Yeah, it doesn't have much bitterness. It, it is, what's interesting about it is it has that stereotypical Martin flavor, but it's very subtle. It's not, it's not an oppressive Oktoberfest beer at all. Yeah, and on the nose, I get something that's characteristic of a Belgian yeast. I don't know why. 
and like there's a slight there's like a slight off it's almost like a band you know like an infection type thing but it's very slight so i think i'm just getting confused because it sure doesn't taste that way i mean this is um pretty good this is like a this is a four out of five eight out of ten um i mean i've had some better oktoberfests this is definitely one that you could just kick back i mean five percent it's almost a session beer um I imagine, I don't know if they have this on kegs or anything, but it'd be awesome to get out of a wooden barrel in a one liter container or something like that with some, um, the right kind of sausages. They make some pretty good stuff up in Columbus area and Cincinnati area. And I'll be wrong, they're from Toledo, right? <laughs> so it, I just know it's Ohio. Uh, like I said, I meant, man, that's good. Love the head retention out of a can. It is very, I don't know if you can see the carbonation. It's very, very active, even in this 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 mug. But that is, um, I mean, what I like about it the most is you can pretty much have it with anything. But if you get your stereotypical Oktoberfest foods, your the, the your sauce, well, Verst and, and Broch and Sanf and Bretzel and um, Kartoffel Pulver. I mean, what is the Kartoffel salad, I guess, which is warm. And you talk quite often that the in the south south of Germany the potato salad is kind of vinegary with bacon bits and everything. This will clean it right off, but no matter what, and I like that. And uh, it's like it's just subtle enough. It's kind of like the opposite of some of the other Oktoberfest beers that have a big multi presence, and they're pretty much the center stage, and then you just kind of add stuff around it. This is like the opposite. This is like hey, you're gonna go, you're gonna have Oktoberfest. You got all this fantastic food, and you get a good tasting beer that's going to clean your tongue, so you can retaste that food again. And that's what this is like. And so I, I like it. I like that idea. It's re it's really really good. So um, eight out of ten for me when I finally take in the untapped after I'm not using my phone to record. Uh, let me know what you think of Oktoberfest Fatheads. Have you had it? Not had it? Is this does it vary from year to year? This is obviously this year's. Um, some of them do. Uh, I think the Sam Adams one, if I remember correctly, very slightly. Um, I mean, not like a barley wine variant, but, you know, the quality, you know, the exact flavor profiles changes slightly from year to year on some of these beers. I think some of it has to do with how long they age it and what they do, but I, I'm a positive. But this is really good. I really like it. I like the subtleness. I like the fizziness, I, even though I'm belching a lot. It's got... From what I remember, you know, stereotypical German beer with that thick, creamy head on top. It's kind of a pale, off-white. Um, but no, it's good. So let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much, and we will see you. Goodbye. Oh, I almost forgot. I don't know if I remember to put this at the end or not. Post. Which one of you doggies farted?